Bule Bista. You never heard about it. You will never watch this. You have no chance of finding it on Netflix or Mac to anything. You would have to come here and wait for six months a year or so to have it rescheduled on some local television station. One of the few, I mean, you, do, you don't, you will not have it here on HBO Cinemax. Um, no. And then you're not watching this, so why are we doing it? <laughs> um, we're just having fun. Besides, um, in the main role you have an actor of the size of uh, Jack Nicholson, and not physically, not literally, but... Uh, um, in terms of value, figuratively, um, Giorgio Constantin was on a level with Jack Nicholson, <sighs> uh, better than Al Pacino, <laughs> because Al Pacino has made way too many lousy movies in the last 20 years or so, so with that he, I'm thinking, diminished his value. Daniel has participated in some regrettable projects, but then uh, there's the Irishman. Anyway, so um, an actor of immense size um, with a huge talent, as good as any, any other. It's just that he was born here and he wasn't lucky enough to to have Hollywood uh, take him on. Um, having said that, the movie is not uh, spectacular and glorious. Uh, although they're trying, they're trying to promote a figure, a central character, Burebista, the king of of Dacia, uh, the car we have here. Renault is making it now, in fact, and they're making it um, in Northern Africa, Al Algeria, I think, and not some other place, I don't know, India, maybe. Um, but it's, it's, it's coming from the name of, uh, of um, the old province here, the old land, the time, the time of the Romans. Uh, in fact, this king was so powerful that uh, we used to boast that he interfered in the internal battles of Rome between Caesar and Pompeius. <sighs> he was a contemporary of Caesar, in other words, who was not concerned at that time with what was happening here. Indeed, the Romans considered barbarians. Mm, from what I've read, uh, it seemed to be originally a term referring to beard, they had beards, but then also they were basically savages for the Romans. And there were some lectures I was uh, watching. You can watch, by the way, they have Yale, Harvard, they have some free, sorry, courses online, psychology, history, you name it, religion. Um, and um, uh, they were talking about the Romans who felt there are no olives, there is no wine north of the Rhine and in some other parts, so this is terrible. Um, so this Burabista was powerful, he had a very large area under his control, and that's basically the idea of this movie, and, and what lacks, what, what the central figure, the, the actor, I, I mentioned, Giorgio Constantin, who's... Um, a sacred monster, a titan, a godlike figure you know, for theater and, and, and acting. Uh, he cannot lift too much the movie because the script is silly in many ways and it's made under communism and um, they were trying to promote nationalistic ideas. Not that this is just a monopoly, a monopoly of the communists. Um, Trump is uh, an idiot and a nationalist, for instance, 
and others insisting on the glory of their people and ancestors uh, most often uh, exaggerating or even inventing things which were not there and hanging on to this past uh, with the idea of selling them as uh, wonderful leaders for the present um, so um, the movie has some 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 acts of valor bravo bravissimo but um it, it it's it has a otherwise a, a stupid is too strong a silly in construction which was the case for uh, almost all if not all all movies made in that time uh, well there are some exceptions Livichule, Padura uh, the Forest of the Hanged uh, with prices in, in, in Cannes but uh, overall they were just silly promoting silly ideas <laughs>